Maya! She is dying. The Tempest will devour her. What can we do? Your body is a vessel for the soul. Share that vessel with her. Let her spirit flow into you. Silence, old man! Tiago! You are alone now, ancient one. You banished us from your realm of twilight. But this world is mine. And now we turn into anime. So anime will save the world. So we're giving the ability some energy magic, some healing magic, but all we really need are health elixirs and the ability to just spam attacks. He was like, oh, I did not expect you to literally turn into anime. Oh, I have no way to counter this. Oh wow, you, you, you have potions as well? Okay, I, I can't handle healing anime. I don't really get why this is able- I, I know it's anime and all, but why is this able to hurt the boss but not Maya in her 30 some super form? Why do I have to turn into a giant robot to do it? So this is actually the final boss now, so it is literally the case that anime is going to save everyone. Wait for him to lower that shield again. I have to wonder how uh, getting my soul actually turns her into this form. I mean, like, it's, it's still robotic, surely, so somehow it just gained extra robotic parts. I don't know, it's anime, I shouldn't, I shouldn't complain. Like, I, there's no way to really describe anything that happens in anime, so let's just go with it. Like, I may as well just get Ken Shiro in here to start, like, thousand crap fists, punching the North Star on him. Well, you're almost dead, Tempest. Anime's killed you. Oh, I couldn't handle the anime! Now the last of his kind, Morbizan returned to the home of his people. Yago sailed back to Medeva. The search for his daughter was over. 
Prince Nehru buried Kuntus and the names of his past, then set out once again to seek his fortune. Sangaro and Torgus consoled each other in the grief they shared, for Queen Maya was no more. Aosi is the wind that blows through its branches. So that's the end of Summoner 2. You save game, why not? Yep, so in the end of the day, all those sums and everything were for naught because anime saved the world in the end. Like anime always does. So yeah, fun game. Far better than the first game, because the first game kinda sucked, because you know... I think I mentioned it at one point when I was kind of doing things, and then I ended up in a city, and then after a few hours of being in the city, I ended up in like sneaking around in the palace for like an hour. And then I realised, what am I doing exactly? And I just stopped playing because it got boring. So, uh, yeah. This one actually at least manages to keep a good pace, mainly because it kind of goes off the rails constantly. Like, oh, you're getting bored? By the way, Realm of Twilight, everyone's wearing masks. You know, are you bored now? It's like, no, now I'm just confused. And it's like, no, don't, don't worry, we'll piece it all together. We'll actually explain, you know. We'll give a proper explanation of what happens. And he's like, oh, okay but you still don't need to actually go off the rails that much, but anyway. A good game, also pretty short for an RPG, I suppose. So I, I think it was coming close to 20 hours and I was also doing a lot of off-screen stuff that was doing those hours, so probably only about 10 to 15 recorded, I suppose. It was less than 30 parts overall, so, you know, compared to something like Skies of Arcadia, which was reaching over the hundreds, then again, I don't think any of those went over 20 minutes or 30 minutes. They might have done, though. I'm looking for something in these credits uh, from the Easter egg thing. Just to take a note of seeing if that guy's... Um, thingy. What's it called again? Nope, the word has completely lost me. Proposal, that's the one. Just to see if I can spot his proposal when it comes up, because what an awesome guy. So in the end of the day, a good game, loads of flaws, especially the fact that enemies just constantly keep respawning all the time. And there is a way too high need for gold in the game and stuff that you just can't naturally get. And the fact that it's sort of required to sequence break certain side quests, but you know the answers to already just so that you don't have to grind and stuff. Which I suppose is good for people who have, after they've played it once, but you don't want to make the first time play that bad, you know. I think that's a 13th summon in the background, by the way. As it deserves to be, because it's the coolest thing. Next to anime, of course. Because anime was able to save a day. Ah, here it will be, somewhere around here. Summoner 2 team being the best team we've ever worked with. Oh. There it is, there it is, there's the proposal. From Max Flagel. You are awesome, mate, the fact you added that into an Easter egg and then put it into the credits. You know, you had the option to say one thing during the credits, and you made a proposal. Like, you just can't say, that guy did a bad job, that was great. He could have been in charge of the enemy respawning, and I still wouldn't have minded. But if someone else was in charge of the enemy respawning that wasn't that guy, then screw them, because, you know, that's annoying. Well, I hate endings. I mean, it's not official. It's fake. Life, life goes on. Uh, like a lot of endings you see in video games. They stink. Before you judge anybody, look at yourself in the mirror. I mean, honestly, look. 
that's what you've got to deal with first. So now we're all in this paradise or whatever, and I'm so happy for her. But there comes a time when you have to fulfill your own needs. Well, if there's a sequel, I honestly don't know if I'm going to do it. Now that Ayari's turned into a tree, I'm pretty much on my own. For as long as I've known her, I've treated Sangaru very poorly. I said many things that I now regret. And a lot of it had to do with my own issues. There's work piling up, but I'm not feeling all that motivated. To be honest with you, I'm a little depressed. No. Back in the day, I was possessed by the demon of darkness. <laughs> he was a class act. He knew how to have a good time and uh, enjoy himself. Crobolus was dead, and for a long time, I, I didn't know what to do with myself. Maya was all about Maya, and I enabled her. I enabled that behavior. I mean, you waste years of your life thinking about revenge, and then it's all over. And you're like, well, what's the big deal? I mean, what, <laughs> what was I so worked up about? My relationship with Torgus is a perfect example. That bitch was tearing us apart. I miss Yori. They say you get used to it, but you don't. It's lonely. It's very, very lonely. Well, I've done my time. I've done my time. I got screwed in the first one, and I got screwed in this one. So they can just all go to hell. Well, I'm back on Tiomora now. And we'll be opening a resort here. It's a beautiful beach. People love the dragons. Uh, we're gonna have dinner theater, some sailboats. It's gonna be really nice. Y you should come by. Summoner 2 is a production of the Isle of Tiamora tourist board. Yep, very silly little end credit sequence there. Let's just make the whole game out to be an advertisement to go and visit Tiamora. So stupid. But yeah, that's the end of the game then. So like I said, a good game. But now it's over. And since it's over, that's the end of the Let's Play, so... Have fun everyone. Bye bye.